Friday evening. How's everybody doing? First sip, not gonna lie. Yep, that's good. So hopefully if my technological skills work, guys, you know, got his intro back on his, you know, bloob tube fucking channel shit. And the last little photo of there, it's it's going viral everywhere. You know, the got the barbed wire on there. It says, come and take it. You know, the whole Texas thing. So, and don't get me wrong. I love my mad moose. But my daughter is uh, is doing shirts now. You know, she's a stay-at-home mom. Got three little ruggers. You know, dad's out. You know, she's jamming gears and trying to make some money. So, I sent that to her. And that's what she came up with. If you want one, I'm going to put her link. She's just got face base and Insta face for ordering shirts or whatever. It's like 20 bucks for a t-shirt. Unfortunately, it's like $6.50 for shipping. But if y'all want to, you know, order one of those and maybe give the daughter a little bit of support, that'd be cool. If not, hey, whatever. So at any rate, let's get into some fucking shit. Again, a guy printed off, you know, guy's got some notes, which is pretty neat. So now we're, uh, now we're up to 26 states, right? Nevada just, just, just dropped in, what was it, yesterday or something? Now, here's the funny part, right? So, I was trying to Google up the actual list of states, which basically, if you just Google which American state has a Republican governor, you got it. But, you know how the Google machine works, you know? And I just clicked on images, let me see it. You know, give me it so I can print it off and I can read it. Well, I remember down seeing the little map, you know, of the states that are supporting Texas. And for whatever reason, it showed a map from 2021 of the states that were 50% or less vaccinated. Of course, this was 2021. And I'm telling you, you could damn near lay it over top of each other. I'm like, huh. So mostly Republican states actually have the now you know the brain power to think for themselves basically is what I'm getting at which is that's you know here we go and uh yeah no no fucking no mainstream media much on this on this subject either because why that would just show the incompetence of this fucking administration you know during this week remember I told you you know I was going to let some things kind of fester first and want to kind of see where things were going to end up. And then we got old Amy Coney at, uh, Barrett, right? All of us conservatives were so like, yeah, Trump got a, we got us the SCOTUS fucking, you know, conservative. Wrong, yo! Nope. She was a tiebreaker. Why? I'm not quite sure. I mean, did she not read the documents? I'm confused. I mean, it is up to the, you know, I'm, I don't have it written, you know, printed off verbatim. But uh, here's, here's, here's part of it. So uh, Governor Abbott released a statement. He's invoked Article 1, Section 3, Clause 10 of the U.S. Constitution, which declaring an invasion and will not bend the knee to the executive branch. So the SCOTUS can kind of fuck off because it is the federal government's job to protect our borders. I mean, it's, a, it's written in the Constitution. Obviously, it doesn't take much fucking brain matter to figure out that they're not fucking doing that. So now Texas is like, fuck you, we've had enough. Kind of like my fucking video I did months ago, pain association. So obviously Texas and the border states have had enough fucking pain to tell everyone to fuck off and we're just gonna fix it our fucking self. Which I think is fucking great and it's about fucking time. But it's getting a little scary. Because now, you know, what was it today? Let me back up, yesterday, Putin Brain or whoever in his administration said, oh, you got 24 hours to vacate. Blah, 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 blah. Well, in pure Texas fashion, fuck off. That day, you know, I think it was one o'clock today. Well, that's, that's came and went. I don't know. You know, now he's threatening to use mili our military against our military. Being that I'm a veteran, that you know, that would be a tough one. I don't know how many active duty military folks he's going to convince. Of course, now we had, like I said in the last video, we had the great purge and, 
any critical thinkers, they basically fucking shit canned out of the military, even though they did ask them to come back because, oh, we're sorry. Yep, it was unconstitutional for us to make you take an experimental drug, even though they shot us full of them for, I don't know how many years when I was in. But at any rate, I would still like to hope and think that a handful of them would actually have a conscience and be like, the federal government, you know, they're in an active army stat, state, you know, active marine, whatever. The United States military, federal military is going to run. They're going to deploy down to the to Texas and fuck with Texas National Guard, which is just an extension of the military. You would think that some of them would be like, you know, you do not have to follow an unlawful order, period. And if you ask me... That kind of sounds like an unlawful order. I'd be like, mm, hard pass. And again, <clears throat> if enough of them would say that, nothing would happen. But we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. I mean, I mean, legitimately right now, I mean, if you just look at what's going on, we have every single Republican governor ran state running down to the border, allegedly according to AJ, Alex Jones, Maybe a handful, not, not too many Democrat governors are actually even kicking around the idea, which would be neat. Highly doubt my state will send anyone. Dumb cunt. She's too worried about changing how kids are going to read in school or some shit. I don't fucking know. But at any rate, it's a little, I mean, is this the spark that starts the bonfire, if you know what I'm saying? I guess there's a... A massive truck convoy going down there starting Monday. You know, some of the numbers are talking 700,000, which we'll see about that. The only thing that makes me nervous about that, about civilians going down there, is another January 6th deal. But I don't know who's running the show down there. I don't know if any of you guys might know. If you do, you know, put that down the frick frack box. Like, is, like, obviously there's a general of this, of this, the Texas State National Guard that's in charge of all the of the state's National Guard. Is he run a show? Like, what military National Guard officer is in charge of all that? Because there has to be one. That's one thing I haven't fucking seen yet. Like, who's, obviously the governor, you know, he's just asking, you know, and I'm assuming the other governors have called him up and like, hey, you know, you want you send some fucking dudes down there? Yeah, come on, bring them on down. So, okay. There's the governor's part piece, I guess, but who's in charge of the military stuff? I seen a video clip of an Abrams, which is my tank, mine, mine, sitting out in the road somewhere in Texas. It was a green one, which was weird. That's the National Guard tank, because active duties, we, we always usually had the desert tan, because, you know, we spent 22 years over in the desert for no good fucking reason. So things are getting a little um hated, to say the least. A little nervous about it, but... This could be, this could be the event that, you know, if there is an event or just a, a mass, more of an awakening for some people, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. You know, you guys let me know what you think about it. I mean, I was conversating with a fellow on the Insta face about that and how he still didn't, he still didn't believe it. I was like, well, you got to believe in something, you know, this is something for conservatives and, and Free thinking people that get, I mean, it's not that hard of a fucking concept. Keep the fucking border closed. You know, I, I just shared a video to Farmer before I came out here. I'm Tucker Carlson talking on a podcast about how the Democrats and, you know, the, the, the bean counters have been lying to us. And so, oh, it's, it's only, we only, we have 11 million, uh, illegals that have crossed the border since Putin Brain took over. Rongo, he was saying that it's north of 22 million people that have come across the border illegally. And like me and Farmer talked about back in 2020, they you know, we called it, they're going to open the border and import more voters. Cause now what do the Democrats want to do? They want to just give all these people fucking citizenship right now. Yep. 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 You have all the rights. Everyone else does, including you can vote. Well, back in, according to Tucker, cause I just remember shit, you know, back in 1984, it was 17 million votes that swayed that. And Ronnie Reagan got the fucking, got the nod. That was only 17 million. They're, now they're talking, we have over 22 million. Everything's going to plan, right? 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 Ah, it's a fucking joke. Everything's a joke. 
Here's another one that I printed off that I thought was uh, it's pretty neat. What is the statute of treason in the United States? So I don't know the section or whatever. It's 2381. Says, whoever owning allegiance to the United States levies war against them or adheres to the enemies, to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere, is guilty of treason and shall suffer death or imprisoned and fined and incapable of holding any U.S. office. Now, that's the same reason why they keep on saying that Trump incited an insurrection because this is what they're trying to, you know, can't hold U.S. Office. Well, I'm sorry, but um, did y'all see that video of that fucking terrorist coming across the border and threatening that YouTube fucking folks? I think I talked about it in the last video. Then he's been identified as a legit terrorist. Has he been picked up? Has he been arrested? If we've identified him, then has he been picked up? Because I haven't seen that part yet, neither. Just curious about that, too. But those are the type of folks who have been trotting their asses across the fucking border. Amongst God knows how many other countries that we've pissed off that have just, you know, in, in, you know, just worked their fucking way up here because it was just, you know, all you gotta do is just walk this way. It's wide the fuck open. Like I said last video, they literally had gates fucking Welded open. Welded. Fucking retarded. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shit's getting fucking fucked up. Oh, this note right here. That's one thing. Went. So, y'all hear the, uh, the little Carrie Lake fucking audio reveal? If that doesn't open your eyes on how politics works, I don't know what else to fucking tell you. And like my little note here says, you know, shocker, he fucking resigned, that piece of shit. But the big question is, is who put him up to it? I mean, those of you that heard it, I mean, he's, what, how much? Two million, three million, four million? And I think she, there's a movie and everyone uses the audio from it. Some girl or whatever that's having a, a fucking meltdown. And she's like, you'll have to fucking kill me. She literally said that. You'll have to fucking kill me, you know? God bless her and God protect her because at least there's one that's got some morals, at least one of them, you know? Now, granted, she's the one that did the recording. Obviously, he didn't know that he was being recorded, but I fucking, I like her backbone. I respect that. I hope, um, I hope nothing happens to her and hopefully she gets there because I guess now she's trying to run for the Senate. That was the deal. And he's trying to get her to wait you know, just, we don't want you to stop. We just want you to pause for two years. Why? Why? And who? Who says? You know, and then he's even talking about, you know, I don't want to put my key in my car and have it go boom. That's the reach of these people? I mean, they work for the Clintons, maybe? Get, is, let's, what, let's make sure we pay attention to this guy and make sure he doesn't kill himself. You know what I'm saying? Just just throwing that one out there. <laughs> that could be a That could be an upcoming one. Yeah, it's real great. And then, uh, have you, any of you guys heard of, uh, Peter Navarro? He was, uh, on, he's involved with Trump. I can't remember exactly what, what, what he did for him, but allegedly just read on the Epic times, he was sentenced to four months in prison for contempt of Congress. Huh? Now I don't know if he's in there. I think I've seen a video of him sitting there, but just a couple weeks ago, wasn't Hunter supposed to be brought in for fucking interrogation in front of Congress and all he did was go do a fucking press conference and leave? So is that not contempt, contempt of Congress or is that just fine because his last name's Biden? Just asking for a friend is all. And this Peter Navarro feller, he, he looks like he's fucking 78 or some shit. Like he needs to spend four months in the fucking clank. I don't know what he said, what he did, whatever. I don't know the details. Again, if one of y'all know that, Put that down in the frick frack box. I'd love to fucking know. I just thought that, you know, again, the hypocrisy in this country, the left and right hypocrisy is just astounding. It's hilarious. And there's way too many fuck people that don't fucking see it still. Mm. Fucking great. Yeah, this shop is filthy. You guys gotta clean this up one of these days. What else do we got going on here? I got one more. One more little note. Oh, yeah. 
This one I thought was funny. Well, before I read this one, which is hilarious. I see Ford has put out that, uh, cause now Chevrolet and Dodge have all fucking kowtowed and now they're cucks and they're not gonna make any more V8 gasoline powered cars in America. Ford's like, we'll still make Mustangs with V8 gasoline motors, no problem. We'll take the reins on that one because the EV market is dying. It's going to hell in a handbasket. You know, I think I went over it before. It's, there's nothing sustainable about any of that Green New Deal and your climate change bullshit. And speaking of climate change, you know, there have been 41 climate disaster predictions since 1967. Take a wild gander and how many of them came true. Zero! So their record so far is 0 and 41. Good job, fucking climate fucking weirdos. Like that fucking little girl there. How dare you? You know, she's been used as propaganda. You got Al Gore or whatever flying around on his personal jets. Fucking yep, yep, yep. How many millions of dollars he made over that bullshit? Give me a fucking break. Oh, my God. This was not a barn burner like last Friday. Guy just ain't lit up about it. I'm still... I don't know if you want to call it shock and awe or just observing... You know, just constantly, well, constantly, but scrolling through the social media is because literally that's the only place that a lot of this information about what's going on in Texas you can even find. And again, like I said earlier, that should prove you right there because no one in the mainstream media is really tackling this. I mean, I don't, some of you older folks out there, if, if something like this has happened in the past, in recent, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 plus years ago, put that down there too, because I don't fucking remember reading or hearing about anything remotely close of like this happening in America, other than, you know, that little skirmish we had back in the 1800s about some stuff and things. You know what I'm fucking saying? So that's the part that's just got guy, the guy's brain twisted all up. And yeah, you can't believe everything you see on social media. TV. You can't believe anything you see on mainstream media. So forget about that. <clears throat> There's so much AI generation shit out there. They can make anything look like anything now. But it is no fucking, you know, there is no faking about 22 plus million illegal immigrants and mixed in with those all those fucking basically, you know, our tax dollars because you know damn well they're not adding to the workforce they're not really gonna be a plus you know i very i think i already talked about the shit that was happening in new york city when they were putting them up in their fucking hotels and it was eleven dollars per meal that this guy was saying that that we as new york taxpayers are paying for even though you can get one of these online fucking things with healthy food and it was only seven bucks a day because guaranteed, I can't remember the name of the of the company that's, you know, feeding these immigrants down in New York City, but it didn't even go out to bid. So it's probably somebody's brother-in-law's company that's on the fucking city board or some shit, you know, lying in their fucking pockets. Per fucking usual. Ah, right. Fuck. And I have a prediction that shit's only going to get crazier and crazier the closer we get to the election. And that, again... You know, I had a lot of conversation in that last video. I had lots of conversations about Vivek. You know, some people still not liking him. Other people are all for him, whatever. And um, I was watching the, the PBD podcast. And they had uh, Glenn Beck on. And Trump literally called him. And this is before the Iowa caucus, before Vivek dropped out. And he asked Glenn Beck, who, who, would, who do you think would be a good pick? And he goes on and says, Vivek would be. And he's like, hear me out. And so you guys hear me out. <clears throat> yeah, he's the young feller. Yeah, I know he came from pharma. You know, yes, I know that. Yeah, yeah, I know all the shit. I get it. I get it. But you know what? You got to, you got to, if you want to pick every single person apart by all their fucking bullshit, then there's not one single person that's worth running. You know, I guarantee Trump's got probably pharmaceutical donors somewhere. You know, the world isn't fucking full of golden roses. Sorry. So at any rate, Glenn's telling Trump, he's like, look at, you make this, this is a short and sweet version. You make this guy your fucking VP and then he can carry on. Of course, he was playing on Trump's fucking ego because we all know Trump's got an ego, shocker. <clears throat> 
He's playing on his ego saying, you know, if you make this guy VP, he can carry on your legacy for another eight fucking years. And that, like, yes. Because, again, like I said in the last Friday's video, I've watched this guy, I don't know how many times, I'm, he's been everywhere. Pod podcasting now is the new mainstream media. If all of y'all, if some of y'all haven't got some way of watching or listening to podcasts, you really need to get there because that's where the real information is at. Not a 15 minute fucking soundbite on Fox or CNN or whatever, you know, some scripted fucking question and a scripted fucking answer. They get them sat down, they get them comfortable and they have a two, three, four hour fucking conversation. And people, once they start getting comfortable, they start talking. And I tell you what, I've watched almost every single one, at least the ones that I can find of him in it, and he's never changed his fucking tune. So that's all I got to say about that. But I'll say, you know, because the big deal is years past, you know, a VP pick really wasn't that big a deal. Me personally, I think this time around, it's very important because we all know as long as they don't cheat as hard as they did back in 2020, that Trump's going to fucking slaughter. I mean, Christ, look at fucking Iowa. Look at New Hampshire. You know, give me a break. There's no fucking, this is what I mean. Because the pendulum now, they pulled it so far to the left, right? They pulled the pendulum so far to the left and they let it go. And now it's just fucking zoom. It's just swinging to the right. And now everyone that has any fucking source of critical thinking is fucking pissed and like, yep, that's my fucking guy. Even, even fucked hard on CNN who said he went to a Trump rally not too long ago. Said, oh, they were great people. They just think, they just thought that they weren't being listened to and Trump, Trump will listen to them and Trump's their guy. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works, you dumb fuck. You know, remember that one time where we, the fucking people, vote for our representatives to represent our ideas and wants? That's how it fucking spoke to your precious democracy that you keep on talking about. That is how democracy works. You know, we are a constitutional republic. Because there's a constitution which makes the democracy part. Yeah, you see what I'm getting at. So, yeah, I think it's very important that he picks somebody that can carry on. Because I've been thinking about it. I mean, this three years have smoked by. I mean, granted, it's been kind of painful, and luckily, knock on, you know, husky toolbox that, uh, you know, I've been able to stay busy, but, you know, this this type of running the country is not sustainable, and most of us watching this and, and know that. So, it's going to take Trump a few, excuse me, a few handful of years to get shit squared away, and let's all remember down how bad they fucked with him last time. You don't think they're going to come after him? When he does get the presidency back again, they're just going to come back like crazy, was it? Now he's got to pay this broad, what was it, $65 million, some judge ruled or whatever, which is still ridiculous. I see her on CNN with it, and, you know, that's not really rape. Or I don't know the details of that case, but I can just imagine it's just more bullshit. I don't know. But the VP is important because he's only got four years, right? Well, what happens after that? Who, who's, I mean, who has been as polarizing but has changed the country in a, in a better way than, than Donald J. Trump? So there's no one else really standing around that, that talks the way he talks other than that one guy that I just, that I just talked about. You know, buy back. You know, remember that guy? Yeah. And again, say what you want. I like him. And at the least, I hope he pulls him in and gives him a job because if you noticed after the New Hampshire win, he came up and did a, you know, I gave him 60 seconds that time. Because again, Trump with his with his ego didn't want to get shown up. That's the only other thing I think that might be holding Vivek back is they don't want Trump's ego. Trump Trump doesn't want you know he's got that big ego there and can't be can't be shown up by by his VP. You know he's got to take center stage all the time. You know he's a man. He's faulted. You know whatever. So aren't we all? Fuck it. But I've dragged y'all on for about 24 minutes. I appreciate you. I, you know, had Farmer give me a little bump there last week. And all I want to do is conversate with a liberal about shit. And as usual, it didn't happen. But uh, went from 1,776 subscribers on a week ago. And now a guy's got 2,071 or something. Neat!
So more people to conversate with because yes, there's more of us out here that think this way. There's a shit ton more of us than there is the fucking crazies. Just fucking remember that shit. Don't let them fucking convince you otherwise because it's bullshit. This one wasn't a big fucking vein popping barn burner. But um, I appreciate you all watching. And then again, if you know, you, you dig on that t-shirt and want to support the daughter, I'd appreciate it. I'm getting me one. I'm getting me an army green one with white white letters. And, you know, I'm going to get the old farmer one, too. Maybe we'll have him out for next live stream, even though it's probably going to be balls cold in this fucking barn. So you're going to be able to see him. But I appreciate you all watching, and we'll talk to you next Friday. See ya.